Hello mis amores and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing great. I hope you're having an amazing day. And today, I'll be your waiter. But plot twist! I'm gonna cook your food and then not serve it to you. I'm gonna serve it to myself. I'm a great waiter. I mean, at least I look like one. Also, this entire picture is black and white, except my skin. Wait, the ring has green in it. <laughs> anyway, I decided to end this year with something that I... I'm excited about, which is food, always, and forever, and forever, and forever, and forever, and forever, and forever. So today we're gonna do another round of cooking, rating, making celebrity recipes. <laughs> Isn't that exciting? It's gonna be a bit of a Christmas edition, as in one is a bit of a wintry recipe out of all of the recipes that I'm gonna be making. <laughs> and yes, you heard it right. Technically, this year has two more Sundays, but I'm only gonna be uploading a video on one of those Sundays. <clears throat> so next week, there will be no video. I will be taking a break, as I haven't done one in two years. <laughs> so I'll be seeing you next year. But for tonight, we can enjoy my presents. Oh, my presents. I did not come bearing gifts though. My presents, not presents. <gasps> I think today I found some very exciting recipes that are not as crazy as the other ones. I must say already, but I just wanted something great in my tummy and not what Robert Pattinson Patterson <laughs> wanted to serve me. I think it's time to get started. And how better to make a Christmas video, which I know this isn't a Christmas video. Christmas is nothing without cookies, am I right? So today we're gonna make two types of cookies and maybe even compare them because why the hell not? So on today's menu, going head to head, Billie Eilish on the left and on the right, Ms. Taylor Swift. Fighting for the crown of who's the best cookie recipe maker, creator. <laughs> Billie Eilish's recipe is relatively recent. I think she's posted it on her Instagram stories about three or four weeks ago. Whereas Taylor Swift's recipe is from her 1989 album release party, I think. So it's been a while. And because we're hungry, it's dinner time. Afterwards, we're gonna make some nice dinner dins dins. We're gonna be making Billie Eilish. I don't know why I'm dancing, maybe because I'm excited for these cookies. Favorite vegan peanut butter chocolate chip cookies. Look, this is all we need. Isn't that amazing? One cup of brown sugar, one cup of peanut butter, two teaspoon of vanilla extract, one cup of oat flour, which I had to make myself. So I just, you know, some oats. <laughs> a teaspoon of baking soda. Oh no, eighth of a teaspoon of salt, which is not here. I'm a failure. A quarter cup of almond milk and chocolate chips. Yoo-hoo! And I'm also gonna preheat the oven to 180 degrees Fahrenheit. Ah, Celsius. In this bowl, we're gonna mix the brown sugar and the peanut butter together for about a minute. I'm not in my peanut butter phase anymore. I think I've overeaten it. Is that a thing, overeaten? <laughs> For this recipe, I shall be a fan. Shall be, which is also a character in Quantico. A great show, the first season at least. <sighs> it feels good to bake again. I haven't baked anything in forever. And we shall continue by adding two teaspoons of vanilla extract to this amazing mixture and then mix it for another 30 seconds. Let's put that to the side. And in a separate bowl, we're gonna combine all of the dry ingredients, which is the oat flour. Your humor. <gasps> yes, I do have a sense of dry humor, a sense of dry. I can't speak. <laughs> a teaspoon of baking soda and also the salt. I'm gonna eyeball this. No way. I've got an eyeball. In this bowl now, we're gonna combine the dry and wet ingredients. I'm gonna put in a little bit, mix it, and then put a little bit more in and mix it. You get the gist. I can't combine this any better. It's so dry. All right, so now we just add the quarter cup of almond milk. Mm. And chocolate chips. How much? I do not know. The question we're all asking ourselves is, can I turn these into cookies yet? Yeah, this works nicely. They're very crumbly though. Just gonna take small bite sizes. 
Who am I making all of these cookies for? I feel like I should have done way less. Gonna have to ask the neighbors if they want cookies. Do you guys talk to your neighbors? <laughs> Here, we're all so anonymous. <laughs> and now, Billy sort of pushes them down with a fork. I feel like I should have added a bit more almond milk, but this is just how we're gonna go now. I think they actually look really cute when they're so crumbly. <laughs> and these are done! As in, now they will go into the oven for 10 to 12 minutes. I took them out of the oven. Mine were in the oven for a couple of minutes longer because I think I made them thicker than she did. But just like her, I put some chocolate on top of some of them because I didn't want to waste too much chocolate. <laughs> Look, now it's melting a little. We're gonna let them cool because they're still very fragile. See you later. I think it's time for some holiday spirit with Taylor Ellison Swift's Christmas cookies, holiday cookies. We're gonna be making Taylor Swift's yummy we will find that out. Chai tea eggnog cookies. Here's what you need. Half a cup of unsalted butter, room temperature. Half a cup of vegetable oil. Half a cup of granulated sugar. Half a cup of powdered sugar. One large egg. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Two cups of all-purpose flour. Half a teaspoon of baking soda. A quarter teaspoon salt. One chai tea packet. And then for the icing, you're gonna need a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, and one tablespoon of eggnog. I literally only bought this for this recipe and I need one tablespoon. So this is the saddest thing I've ever done in my life. We still have the nice oven noise in the background, but that's just part of life. Life is life and life can be loud. Loud? is life. Facts only. So first off we're gonna preheat the oven to 180 degrees Celsius which we've already done obviously. Using a mixer beat the butter in a large bowl on medium for about a minute. Add the vegetable oil, granulated sugar, powdered sugar, egg, and vanilla, beating on medium speed until each ingredient is completely incorporated. This is where Tay's personalization comes in. Cut one chai tea packet open and empty the crushed tea leaves into the batter. Stir in the flour, baking soda, and salt using mixer set on low. Refrigerate the dough for an hour or freeze for 15 minutes so it's easier to handle. While the cookie dough is in the freezer, let's just quickly make the icing, shall we? It's not that hard. For that, we're literally just gonna combine the rest of the ingredients. We shall mix powdered sugar, nutmeg, cinnamon, and eggnog. Please use responsibly and do not drink alcohol if you're underage. <laughs> Look at Taylor Swift wanting us to get drunk. Dollop one tablespoon of cookie dough onto the cookie sheet about two inches apart. Press the dough evenly with two fingers or palms to one quarter inch thickness. I don't know how much that is. It's so soft and delicate for some reason. Oh, isn't that a Taylor Swift song? I feel like I should start singing Taylor songs because I actually know Taylor songs. Now I go back to December all the time. You got to share, share a secret, secret and I'm tired of being less to know. Turns out reading means nothing but missing you. For myself at your door, just let go of those times before you. you. Wishing that real life is what I had when you and were your mine. best apology to you and me. I bet she's beautiful. That girl he talks about. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. This is the last. Okay. Bake for 8 to 10 minutes. Let the cookies cool on the baking sheet for 10 minutes before eating. They smell so good. Anyway, look at them. So Taylor's cookies are almost done. They came out the oven looking really, really pretty. Smelling very, very good. The dough was amazing. They just looked so perfect. As for the last step, we've made this icing. And to top it off, let's sprinkle some cinnamon on top. Wow. Oh, they look like a great chai latte. Wow, look at them. They look so great. There are more here and also here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, finally it is time to try something. Here are our beautiful cookies. 
They both look amazing, actually. Here's them next to each other. The lighting is not so great, but the cookies are. <laughs> I think I'm gonna try Billy's vegan cookies first, which are not vegan in our case. Well, good luck me. Hmm. <laughs> These are so good, with the melted chocolate on top. I don't get a lot of peanut butter, which I don't mind. I get enough peanut. <laughs> These are just so good, even though they're very sweet. They also kind of melt in your mouth. I don't know, they have a really nice texture. I like everything about them. Mmm, -hmm. Billy, good job. So without having tried Taylor Ellison's yet, these are definitely, does Billy have a second name? Almost a 10 out of 10, these are so good. Let's move on to Taylor's cookies. These are more Christmassy, which is great, because it's almost Christmas time and the living is easy. <laughs> Obviously the dough was completely different, so these are completely different type of cookies. They're more cake-like, I think, because the dough was also a little bit more like cake batter, but they better be good. They smell like a chai latte. Mmm, the texture. So sandy. These are fucking delicious. <laughs> they actually taste like a chai latte. The texture is just so nice and it's still so juicy. I am in shock. In utter shock and disbelief. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I think it's only good because of the chocolate. <laughs> Try it without. No. It's not. I like Do you it. like the texture? Mm-hmm. Taylor. Taylor. Oh. Yeah, I was so surprised too. Oh. Mmm. Mm. Really feels like I'm eating sand. But in a good way, right? Mm-hmm. So do you prefer Taylor's? Yeah. Taylor, you're the winner, baby. I don't remember ever having made such good cookies, actually. I'm so happy we can eat them the next two days. <laughs> The vodka pasta is probably very quick, order, huh? That was such a spoiler! Oh, sorry! <laughs> As we know by now, guys, I'm late to trends, so I think we should keep it that way. And in that fashion, tonight, as Naomi already had said, we're gonna make vodka pasta by Gigi Hadid, which she's done on her Instagram stories at some point. And then she didn't even use vodka. <laughs> I bought vodka for this only to use this much. <laughs> I'm a bit afraid of this pasta because I'm not afraid. Thinking of what is in this pasta, I would not consider myself very confident of that I will like it. Not just because of the vodka, but there's whipping cream in there and a lot of cheese, which are usually two ingredients, especially when combined and in a high amount I do not like, <laughs> but I'm still very open-minded. I can be convinced otherwise. Also because we're gonna use oat whipping cream. So here's what you'll need. About two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Do we have extra virgin? Um, it's German, so that counts. A small or medium-sized onion, one tablespoon of minced garlic, one tablespoon of tomato paste, half a cup of whole whipping cream. Yeah, as I said, I used oat, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper, a teaspoon of paprika, a teaspoon of garlic powder, and a teaspoon, or a little less in my case, of red pepper flakes. Half a cup of shredded parmesan, one tablespoon of butter, one tablespoon of vodka, and one box of I use different ones. Pasta. And now let's get to cooking. Boil the pasta according to the box directions or until al dente. Set aside reserving one cup of pasta water for later use. In a large deep skillet, add olive oil and heat pan to medium or medium high heat. Once the pan is hot and sizzling, add diced onion and minced garlic. Saute until fragrant about five to six minutes. Or if you like them golden brown, then do so. Yay! <laughs> Afterwards, add the tomato paste, butter, vodka, and whole whipping cream to skillet. Mix all of these ingredients together. The sauce will take on a slightly orange pink hue and will be slightly thick. Heat the pasta sauce for about two to three minutes, stirring constantly, ensuring it doesn't burn. Add in the shredded Parmesan cheese, mix until melted and completely combined. Then add the reserved pasta water to skillet to thin out the sauce. Start with half a cup of water, stirring constantly. Now once the sauce is ready, pour half of the rotini or whatever pasta you've got into the prepared sauce. Store the extra pasta. Plate the pasta and add additional Parmesan cheese. And a little bit of fresh basil if you've got that, but we don't have that, so just forget about that. Mm. 
And there you have it guys, Gigi Hadid's vodka pasta. It smells great here. I'm very excited actually. I did not think it would turn out this well. Looking. <laughs> Mm -hmm. This tastes good, period. I don't know what else to say to this, honestly. <laughs> it's a nice pasta sauce, it's not extraordinary. Someone explain to me please what the vodka does because right now I just I feel, feel like, like I've, I've wasted, wasted 10, 10, euros. 10 euros. It lacks a bit of flavor, I feel like there's something missing, but it's still good. If someone made this for me, I'd be like, oh, this is good, thank you so much. I don't really like it, but thank you for making it for me. It's not for me, Irmia. Okay, that's exaggerated. But like, yeah, it lacks a bit of flavor, yeah. Yeah, this is so sad. We are done with this video. We are done for the year. Signing off. Taylor Swift is the win winner. The winner of this video. Video. The winner of this video. Billy's cookies are also really good. Really, really good. Actually, I love them. Again, this is good, but not amazing. And I was expecting amazing. <laughs> and that being said, GG, I'll see you in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And until then, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.